Hello, I'm the Zombie J. Time for a mock review. Hang the fuck on. Hang the fuck on. There we go. So, I alluded to this in a previous video. Hang on. Uh, a previous mock review, maybe both, I don't know. That, well, I had a um, discombobulated uh, Strack. That was using pieces that weren't his, and also um, was just broken. There were parts broken, and there were some substitute parts. <laughs> and I said that I would do some kind of uh, upgrade to Strack, and uh, do some kind of uh, reworking of a system and uh, maybe adds a bit of a CCBS touch to him. And well, uh, <laughs> today I decided to do that. So, I'm not a liar. Here we go. <laughs> it's Strack. <laughs> it's actually a pretty cool looking Strack. No um, pun intended. Not a whole lot of that, you know, that, um, that uh, medium bluish, light bluish. Uh, blue color. Um, it's mostly just white and black and light gray. And I guess dark gray too. I don't know. So this is Strack. He is now Titan sized, I guess you could say. And there's definitely some problems with this, but hey, I was in a hurry because I had an hour or less to uh, get this done. Mostly because the album I was listening to just there was uh, Persona Non Grata by. Uh, Exodus and um, that was only an hour and long or so so I figured you know time limit so there you go um, so starting things off with the obvious is the axe I am struck I will chop your ass 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 so yeah um, <laughs> the axe I've had for Ages. This is actually my original copy. It's got good marks on it. It's cut up and modified to make it look somewhat cooler, I guess. Um, so, he doesn't have white fists. Instead, he has the original Mata hands in white, which is fine, um, because why not? CCBS arms uh, with that one hole in there, and the upper arms are the one hole in there. The, um... 2015 armor piece. This one is yellowed. Hideously. It's disgusting. And I know Jang um, did a video uh, showing how to alleviate the yellowing on white Lego parts. Um, so I'll have to do that. Uh, the other one looks fine though, I think. It's just a problem with certain uh, plastics, I guess, yellowing over time. And this one took fucking like, I don't know, eight years or less to uh, yellow since I got it. Um, yeah. So you can see the arm. The arms are simple. The legs are simple. You have the longest upper leg bone and the longest lower leg bone. Well, okay. There is a longer bit. So, um, but. I didn't want to use that because I was using it. I was already using it for another mock. Um, most of these parts were actually, besides the ones that came with Strack, that were already on my Strack set. Uh, most of these parts were um, from a mock, like the legs, for example, and the arms, were from a mock that I had previously made, but that I wasn't really happy with. So I took it apart and used the parts for this. Uh, as you can see, his hunchback is very well done, well defined right there. He does have the long neck syndrome, which is a thing. This is my original uh, Strack helmet. It's cut up. He's got a gash in his head for ages of battle. I decided to put his uh, these ice uh, things on his uh, thing for shoulder armor like that to protect his, so that he still has. Um, range of motion in his arms so it doesn't really limit. I just like how that's angled that way. Um, 
So yeah, you want to know how that's uh, done? Well, it's in the Anika uh, body armor piece, uh, body piece. Um, you can see, basically this blue pin goes into this little gap right here beyond that piston. And I know it still wiggles around, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> so, and of course I have some loose hands right here, but hey, those are just uh, aesthetics, I guess. I decided to do this at the last minute. Um, these feet pieces, I decided to, um, you know, so they have old Sharpie on them from who knows how long ago. I decided to put those on his back and on his hunch. So he has both of those. Now obviously there is a little bit of uh, wiggle. Um, there is a gap right there, I think. Um, I, I had some. Uh, I might have to touch this up at some point. Add some more, um, you know, stuff. He does have a silver uh, Metru uh, chest armor piece. He does still have his uh, chest armor, I guess you could say, um, with that L bracket like piece um, that plugs into the torso, into the other torso. And of course the CCBS torso is the biggest, um, what is it, uh, CCBS torso. Um, however, in order to succeed this design, I had to uh, twist, I had to use uh, pinchers and twist off the ball joints at both ends right here. I still have um, these three longs on the inner ball joints. And the neck ball joint, I had to twist them off and cleanly they went off. I could have filed it down a bit more, but I didn't want to, I didn't fucking feel like it. So there's that. <laughs> yeah, I know it's cheating to sort of, um, also kind of sacrilegious if you will, to uh, break, intentionally modify and break uh, Lego parts, but hey, I wanted to go for this design and in order to achieve it, I did what I did, so there you go. There's nothing wrong with that, I mean really. Now, obviously he has a little bit of a pseudo crotch armor right there, but you notice I didn't give him a penis, it's because I didn't fucking feel like it. Post in the comment section below if I should give him a dick. Um, he does have feet. Um, notice they're not connected to anything besides these uh, <laughs> modified uh, CCBS feet. Obviously, I chopped off the uh, front ends of the feet and just left the uh, working bits that work. So obviously, it's a bit of a squeeze to get those in there, but hey, it works. So articulation-wise, obviously, you know, with CCBS, he can do that. <laughs> he can do that. He can hyperextend, which I wouldn't recommend. He can raise up his leg and take a shit. Or piss. Um, he can do a high kick, obviously. He can kick all the way back. So, uh, with his long neck syndrome, he can do this. <laughs> look all the way up like that. If you look all the way down and see what little of a dick he has. <laughs> um, obviously, the arms can move. He definitely does have some limitations because of this armor. Crystal armor of some sort, but... You know, it's 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 still doable. Hands, he can obviously bring in and chop you down. Um, that is uh, that's Strack right there. Also, I have these Metro Blue Mata hands right there, just for aesthetics. I don't know. It it feels like the lower waist, like the waist area, is a little too thin. I feel like I could add some more to that. But clearly, this was an experiment. Um, I did something similar with Vorix, or Vorox, um, the stinger, uh, thing, whatever the fuck he is, creature, the Vorox, um, but that mock is clearly dead now, so I'll have to rebuild it differently. Um, but this, I'm pretty satisfied with this as it is, it's just, I didn't feel like giving him a penis, so, there you go. <laughs> um, so... That is a uh, Strack revamped and rebuilt into a uh, 
interesting titan form. This torso design, if you want to go for this torso design yourself, you're going to have to modify some a piece. Um, but if you want to get more creative, um, I guess you can use other parts to achieve something similar to this design. Um, but I'm pretty happy with what I did here, even though I shouldn't be happy about cutting up parts and whatnot. So, but hey, there's Jack. And as a bonus, Micro Tahu. This little bastard has a little sanded down mask of uh, shielding from the stars. Um, again, with the modified feet. Same uh, general design, I guess, as Midak, Onu Matoran. Um, but he does have different orientation of the to torso armor. It looks like he's got a pseudo gut going on in the back. He's got a uh, Iron Man head, Glatorian head, as the uh, as the head flipped around, obviously, and a sword and fists, and that's basically that. Um, I didn't have, I couldn't find a a uh, thing to put right there, but hey, that's what it is. Um, I built this mostly just for lols, <laughs> for lols, because come on camera, I'm being stupid, um, because it's just. A cute little desk toy, I guess you could say. You can just sit or stand right there in a weird pose. Maybe you can make him, make him look like he's jacking off. So, um, yeah. <laughs> this is one of those things, you know. So, it's a fun little thing. That's a little bonus for you guys and gals and whatnot. Um, just a... Uh, you know, this is easy to build too, and if you don't want to cut up the uh, uh, feet, well, try something else, like a Vorok foot or something. I wanted to go with the CCBS uh, thing for this entirely for this set, except for the mask and the sword, obviously. Um, so, chopped off the front ends on the feet, and yeah, I could have sanded them down, but hey, I like that aesthetic. They're a rough aesthetic, you know, it's pretty nice. So there you go, Strack and Micro Tahu. I'm gonna put this little bastard right there for now. Find a place for him later. There you go. So I hope you all enjoyed this here mock review. Thank you all for watching. I've got other mocks in the pipeline to uh, build, and I've got ideas in my brains for other uh, ideas of for other mocks and builds and whatnot. I plan on redoing um, Vorox because I had some ideas and honestly looking at this that my new version of Strack um, I think it'll be pretty easy for me to redo Vorox so once again I am Strack, I am Strack, I will chop your ass, chop your ass, chop, 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 chop kick your ass Ching. yeah <laughs> Ugh, you're annoying, Strack. Fuck you. Right. So, I hope you all enjoyed this year video. Stay tuned for more. I am the Zombie J. I'll see you folks. Have a good fucking day, and peace.